In this illustration, we intend to simulate the natural frequency of longitudinal vibration in the Abacus software. In this training video, we first calculate the natural frequency of longitudinal vibration using the analytical solution, then calculate natural frequency of longitudinal vibration using the Abacus software, and finally compare the results obtained from the Abacus software with those gained from the analytical solution. As you observe in the picture, the model includes cantilever beam and concentrated mass. The beam is made of steel and the concentrated mass is equal to 20 kilograms. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. I intend to create geometric shape of the beam. I will select the modeling space as 3D. From here, deformable, wire, and planar. Enter approximate size equal to 5 and continue. I will draw vertical line. As you observe in the picture, the length of beam is equal to 1 meter. Done. In the next step, I will enter property module. Click on create material. The beam is made of steel. I will click on general menu, then on density. The density of steel is equal to 7,800 kilograms per cubic meter. In the next step, I will click on mechanical menu, then on elasticity and elastic. The Young Modulus is equal to 200 gigapascal, and I will enter that equal to 200 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 pascal. The Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3. OK. In the next step, I will click on Create Section. I will select Beam, and after that, Beam again. Continue. Click on uh, Create Beam Profile. Uh, select Rectangular. Continue. The cross section of the beam is a square with a side of equal to 0.04 meters. OK. I will click on uh, Assign section, select the beam, done, and OK. After that, I will click on Assign Beam Orientation. Select the beam, done, press on Enter button. And OK. As you observe in this picture, a concentrated mass as much as 20 kilograms has been connected to the top of the beam. I will click on Special Menu, then on Inertia and Create. I will select Point Mass Inertia and continue. I will select this point, OK. The concentrated mass is equal to 20 kilograms. OK. In the next step, I will enter Assembly Module, click on Create Instance, OK. I will enter step module, click on create step. Here select linear perturbation, then select frequency and continue. Here I will tick on value option. Enter the number of natural frequencies equal to 8 and OK. In the next step, I'll enter load module. Click on create boundary condition. Here, select Displacement Rotation and continue. I will select bottom of the model. Done. As it can be observed in the picture, the bottom of the beam is absolutely fixed. So I will close all boundary conditions of displacement. In the next step, I will enter Mesh Module. Click on Seed Part. Enter Approximate Global Size equal to 0.01 meters. OK, click on Mesh Part and Yes.
Here I will save the model. I will enter job module, click on create job. Analysis was done successfully, so I click on result. Here you can observe the natural frequencies of the model. In fact, you can observe the eight natural frequencies of the model. Actually, here, there are the first eight natural frequencies of the model. Then you will inquire how to find the natural frequency of longitudinal vibration among these eight. The first natural frequency is related to the transverse vibration. The third natural frequency is not longitudinal vibration. The fourth is not in the same manner and is not related to the longitudinal vibrations. As you observe, the seventh natural frequency is the same natural frequency of longitudinal vibration. If you look at the shape carefully, you will find that it is similar to what is in this picture and that the vibrations are performed longitudinally. So, as it has been mentioned so far, our first challenge is to find the natural frequency of longitudinal vibration among the various natural frequencies obtained from the Abacus software. We found, uh, we found that the seventh natural frequency is the same natural frequency of longitudinal vibration and is equal to 577.44 Hz. Here, you can observe the quantity of this frequency that is equal to 577.44 Hz. Now here, we intend to obtain the natural frequency of longitudinal vibration using the analytical solutions. In the previous video, I gave some explanations about how to calculate the natural frequency, but even so, I will repeat those explanations once again. We use this formula in order to calculate the natural frequency. Here, F is the natural frequency, K is the stiffness, and M, a Q, is the equivalent mass. First, we should calculate the quantities of K and M, a Q. First, we calculate M EQ or the same equivalent mass. We use this formula for calculating the equivalent mass 
which has been inferred from the mechanical vibrations, book written by Rao. Here you can observe the mechanical vibrations book by Rao. Here, the formula of, of equivalent mass can be observed. We use this formula that, it, that in fact is related to the cantilever beam with concentrated mass. Here, the beam mass has been calculated that is equal to density multiplied by a volume. The density is equal to 7,800 kilograms per cubic meter and the beam volume is equal to 0 0.0016 cubic meters. The beam mass will be resulted as 12.48 kilograms and finally, the equivalent mass will be equal to 22.941 kilograms. In the next step, uh, we should calculate the quantity of K. We use this formula for calculating the quantity of K, and we can do so by using F is equal to Kx. And here, you can observe the formula of K, or the same stiffness. You can also use the mechanical vibrations book for calculating the quantity of K. Here you can observe the formula of K or the same stiffness and actually the formula we used here is extracted from the mechanical vibrations book by Rao. Here, the quantity of K has already been calculated. Uh, having we calculated the quantity of K as well as MEQ, we can calculate the natural frequency of the beam by inserting them in this formula. As you observe here, the natural frequency of longitudinal vibration is equal to 594.41 Hz. Now we intend to compare the results obtained from the abacus software with those gained from the analytical solutions. The natural frequency having been obtained from the abacus software is equal to 577.44 Hz. A natural frequency gained from the analytical solution is equal to 594.41 Hz. Now, we intend to calculate the difference between the results obtained from the Abacus software the, and, the, and the analytical solution. As it can be observed, the difference of results between the Abacus software and the analytical solution is about 3%, and its exact quantity is equal to 2.85%. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are so close to those gained from the analytical solution, indicating that the problem has been simulated correctly in the Abacus software and the results obtained from the Abacus software are so similar to those gained from the analytical solution.